Alright, sh- right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great middle stone. Citation to all the I can push the word with true charity with charity. Yahweh is the true name of Heavenly Father, whom the word and he calls God Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, with the word and he calls Jesus and Rechakwadash the Holy Spirit. As always, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, according to Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter which outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, on the bread of your diet from the Great Millstone Branch Iron in Chicago, and I'm back with another lesson. It's going to be entitled A Bunch of Useless uh, Israelites, you know? And they, uh, this uh, lesson title had came to me. You know, this past week at camp, you know, just, you know, just, you just, we, we be in the hood, so to say. And it just be Jake's just walking the past, just, just dead, like have no purpose, you know, because hey, the Lord said right here in Ecclesiastes, verse 12, verse 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. And that's the, uh, that's to the Israelite man, you know, our sole purpose is to fear the most high. Hey, 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 when you fear the most high, it's going to lead you to uh, uh, it's going to lead you to have a certain type of manner of living, a manner of life. It says and keep his commandments. Right. So fear the most high and, and do what he say. But a hey, two thirds of our people, man, hey, they're just completely gone. They have no purpose because they're not doing the most basic things that, that, that the Lord requires of us. You see. So a a they they're no good. They're useless. You know, this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter nine and verse six. For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. And they, the Lord doesn't regard these people as nothing because they don't have the knowledge of wisdom or understanding. You know, and they are people they love to have it so they don't want it. This is wisdom of Solomon chapter seven and verse twenty eight. For the most high love of none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. So wait, how does the Lord feel about the rest of these Israelites, man? That's just out here, just, you know, they dead, but, but you know, they, they alive, but they ain't living, you know? This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 17. And a word of Yahweh came unto me saying, son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. And dross is something that's worthless. It's like uh, impurities and like golds or oh, and, 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 and metal, so to say. It says, all they are brass and and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace, they are even the dross of silver. So, hey, the Lord say, majority of our people, they've become worthless. Why? Because they're not serving him. Hey, they're trying to serve the self-proclaimed white men, the same man that's been sticking a foot up their ass, you know, and they want to they want to be everything except what the Lord told them to be, created them to be, you know. So, hey, what the Lord is going to do with them, man, this is Ezekiel chapter 15 and verse 2. Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree or than a branch, which is among the trees of the forest? <laughs> so hey, the Lord is like, you know, you got a vine. Like, what, what, what's it for? And, you know, like, what can it do? What good is it? It says, shall wood be taken thereof to do any work? Like, can you go and build with it? It says, or will men take a pen of it to hang any vessel they're on? Hey, no, because it's weak. It says, verse uh, four, behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel. The fire devoureth both the ends of it, and in the midst of it, it is meat. Is it? It's like it says, "Is it meat for any work?" So, so a hey, the hey, the Lord is saying, "Like, look, you throw it, you throw the shit in the fire, man, and hey, it, it just burns up." It says, "Is it meat for any work? Is it good for anything?" It says, verse five: Behold, when it was whole, it was meat for no work. How much less shall it be meat yet for any work when the fire have devoured and it is burnt? So the Lord said when it was whole, you know, the, this vine, when it was full, intact, you know, it, it, it wasn't good for nothing. How much more after it's burnt? It says, verse six, therefore, thus saith Yahweh power as the vine trees among the like as the vine tree among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel. So will I give the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So hey, the Lord is going to destroy majority of our people, man. Why? Because hey, they're no goods. They, they're not meat for anything. And hey, here it is when we, the Lord has raised up his prophets, you know, to feed his people, as he said in Jeremiah 3. But hey, our people, they ain't t they, they're not taking heed. You know, they're trying to be better slaves here in America, man. They, they're they're being even worse. They're waxing worse. So hey, the Lord is like, hey, what 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 good is you? What what are you gonna do for me? Nothing, you know. And that's our people, man. 
This is Jeremiah chapter four and verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. Right. Our people are, are foolish. They know everything. They know Christianity. They know Islam. They know the BET awards. They know how to cook pork. But they don't know the ways of the Lord. It says they are sottish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. You got to, you know, you our people, they, they know how to cook crack. You know, they know how to break pills down there, how to weigh the weed up. They know how to do all these different things. It says, but to do good, they have no knowledge. What do you do with an individual like that, man? Do you keep them alive and just hope that they do right one day? They just come and they said, oh, I want to serve the No, that's not, that's not going to happen. That's not how the Lord read it out, man. Two thirds of our people are going to be cut off in this land and die because they refuse to turn back. This is Malachi chapter three and verse 14. Ye have said it is vain to serve the most high. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked mournfully before Yahweh of hosts? And that's the mindset of our people. You know, hey, they come in at that Malachi spirit that, uh, 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 uh whereas says thou love me, you know, they backbite against the Lord. They don't they don't see the uh, they don't see why, you know, they don't they don't see the uh, point of serving the Lord. You know, and in the book of Isaiah, the Lord said, I, I speak things that are right. I didn't tell you to serve me in vain. Hey, the Lord only has good for our people. This is the only healing for our people. But our people reject it. Hey, they say it is, it is vain to serve the most high. What profit is it? it what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? And that's that's literally the mindset of our people today. You see, you can't even talk to our people about the Bible. That's how you know our people are the people of the Bible. You know, you can talk to them about, uh, you know, Islam. You know, you can talk about, about anything. But as soon as it come about that Bible, that demon will just hop up out of them and they expose it. You know. This is. uh. <laughs> I hit this. This is Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 10. It says, This evil people which refuse him my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them, shall even be at this girdle, which is good for nothing. They our people <laughs> are good for nothing. Why? Because they refuse to come back, man. Hey, they they wanna they want they wanna say the black woman is God, you know. They wanna worship the self-proclaimed white man, you know. Hey, they wanna gang bang and kill one another. And, and, and uphold rappers and entertainers and basketball players and movie stars as, as the nobles of their community. They look for them uh, as, as leaders. So, hey, they're good for nothing. It says, verse 11, for as the girdle, it's like it says, and hey, when you read up in this Jeremiah, the Lord told Jeremiah to basically put his girdle behind a rock. And when he came back to get the girdle, the girdle was beat up and broken down. You know, just to give you a little backstory. Verse 11, it says, For as the girdle cleave is to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah, save Yahweh, that they might be unto me for a people and for a name and for a praise and for a glory. But they would not hear. So hey, the Lord say that mantle, you know, you, you're supposed to put it close to, you, you know, around your uh, loin area. That's that's how we're supposed to be to, to the Lord. May our people they don't do it man so hey they're good for nothing man it's like a uh, it's like a damaged you know he compared him to a damaged girl you know but hey to point being two-thirds of our people are good for nothing this is uh yeah this is isaiah chapter 5 and verse 1 now will i sing to my will beloved a song of my beloved touching his touching his vineyard my will beloved have a vineyard and a very fruitful hill it says, and he fenced it and gathered the, the stones thereof and planted it with the choice, choices vine and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein. And he looked that it shall bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes. So he, the Lord, he went and built this vineyard. You know, he he fenced it around, put some nice rocks around it, made it, you know, got it all beautiful and beneficial and fenced up and protected. It says, and he looked that it shall bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes. It says, verse three, and now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard. What could have I been, it's like it says, what could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. The Lord is saying like, well, it's going to break going to it. It says, verse five, and now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof as it 
to like it and it shall be eaten up and break down the wall thereof and it shall be trodden down and I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned nor dig, but there shall come up briars and thorns. I will also command that the clouds that they rain, no rain upon it. It says for the vineyard is is it's like for the vineyard of Yahweh of hosts is the house of Israel and the men of Judah is pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression for righteousness, but behold, a cry. So hey, in the similar to the Lord says, like, look, I, I built this this vineyard, you know, I, I fenced it, you know, I, I protected it, you know, put some stones around it. And then, you know, when I look forth to see the uh, fruit of my labors, man, it, it, it came out strange. It didn't come out the way it was supposed to. Now, see, the Lord gave us laws, statutes, and commandments for us to be a peculiar people, to be separate from all other nations of people. <laughs> but, hey, hey, we still turned out uh, not how we were supposed to. So hey, the Lord said, what, 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 what is he going to do with it, man? He's going to break it down, man. And that's our people today, man, you know? Hey, our people, two thirds of our people are not getting the chastisement of the Lord, as it says in that book of in a, in a book of Hebrews, lead a 12th chapter. They're not being exercised. They're not going to be uh, made that. Uh, made that man, you know, they how about Shemel Shai is looking for. So hey, he's going to get rid of it, you know, get rid of them. This is. Uh, let me see. Um, this is uh, in fact, I'm gonna hit this really quick. I'm gonna go back to that. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 7. It says, Their feet run in evil and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts of thoughts of iniquity, wasting the destructions are in their paths. And this is them, this is this is our people in 2021, both northern and southern kingdom, uh, wasting and destruction, you know. Hey, hey, the Lord gave us law, such commandments that we should be a peculiar people, that we should be the complete opposite of this, man. But a hey, majority of our people, this is how they are, man. So hey, what do you do with an individual like that? In the book of Amos, it says all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. We say, <clears throat> shall die. I'm going to grab <clears throat> This Amos chapter 9 and verse 10, all the sins of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. So hey, hey, our people that, that don't want to come back to the Lord, they're going to die, man. They're going to die. It's as simple as that. Verse 8, Isaiah 59 and 8, the way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. And this is our people, man. Hey, hey, it's certain individuals, individuals like Lil Wayne. You know, Gucci Mane, you know, and all these a uh, mistress women bring forth monsters. These people were meant to be destroyed. You know, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. They're not going to return and seek the Lord, man. You know, hey, it was a it was this dude, right? This is how useless our people is. It was this uh, dude walking past camp or whatever. Had it been like, you know. 19 and like 20 20 ish range or whatever you know it was like 3 p.m pants sagging you know black tank top on some black f ones weird haircut just just walking you know like you're not serving the lord you know so like, okay you're not serving the lord I, I, you at least you know you working you know are you doing anything with yourself no nah, you just a hey, being up to no good man Hey, the Lord is going to get rid of them, man. This is, uh, I finished Isaiah. I, Isaiah 59 and 8, it says, The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. And go look at the, go, go on any social media platform and look at the state of the so-called Negroes. Uh, you know, the, the youth of the women. Because you women, you useless as well. Look at the so-called Latino and, and, and their youth. Look at the Native American and their youth, man. They're on a large scale not coming back and serving the Lord, man. So hey, the Lord is gonna get 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 gone, get get them gone. This is uh, this is Second Andrews chapter nine verse twenty, and it reads: It says, "So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were coming to it." 
It says, and I saw and spirited greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. It says, uh, verse 22, let the multitude perish therein, which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. So, it, it, you know, hey, hey, that great, hey, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the men of the Lord. That's the Lord's elect, man. It says in uh, Isaiah, the second chapter, if, if the Lord have not left a remnant, we would have been likened to Sodom and unto Gomorrah. Hey, the Lord is, is, is only a few that's going to come back and serve the Lord in these last days. The rest of them are going to be done. Why? Because they're useless, man. They're not trying to serve the Lord. They're not trying to walk out the Lord. They want to hit the smooth things, you know, as it's, I'm going to grab Isaiah 30. Is Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 8. It says, now go write it before them in a, in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Verse 9. <sighs> that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. And that's our people today. It says, verse 10, will say to the seers, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy the seeds. America is going to continue, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, all you got to do is sit here and just keep on. They want to hit a BS. They want to hit a sweet things. They don't want to hit a hard, cold truth that is either repent or die time, you know. It says, verse 10, we say to the seers, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. And that's what our people want. Verse 10, get you out of the way and turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. And that's our people. They don't want to hear the, 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 the judgments and the requirements, uh, you know, of being an Israelite. They want to be everything except that. Verse uh, 12, wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, you despise the doctrine of the Hebrew Israelites, which it, which when it boils down is the only thing that's ever, that's, that, that's, that's profitable for our people. It says of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression, the American dream and perverseness, hey, the, everything the self-proclaimed white man tells you, which is the, the Edomite of the Bible, the devil. It says, and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. So, hey, man, these people are going to get let down. They're going to get destroyed, man. You see? So, hey, Lord, well, this is a quick, edifying lesson. Call Halal. Yahweh Ba'asham. Yahweh Shai Ba'asham. Rechak Wadash. That was to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Citation to all the occupants. Word with true sincerity with charity. Shalom. Barak. Thumb in a Bible. Ball.